YouTube is saturated with the creators who replicate each other without even the slightest attempt to make themselves stand out. And I'm looking at you at TikTok and Instagram with so many people simply taking the idea and copying it word for word. I'm here to challenge you to dare to be different. We're gonna look at Bo and Randy as an inspiration for someone who tried to do something completely different and with that paved their own way to success and took their career to the whole nother level. Randy Feldface, yeah, I know. Randy Feldface is a comedian and a puppeteer who combined those two art forms to create a very unique life experience. Listen, I know that the Muppets have been around for almost 70 years thanks to Jim Henson, but think of Randy as a Muppet with 18 plus rating. It's the best of the comedy and storytelling combined together with surprisingly expressive face of this Muppet. I mean, puppet. Bob Burham is an OG YouTuber turned stand-up comedian who leverages music and lyrics to deliver his punchlines. His special, Inside, is one of the most unique comedy stand-up experiences you will ever have and one of the most sampled pieces of content across TikTok and Instagram that I've ever seen. Don't be scared, don't be shy, come on in, the water's fine. Could I interest you in everything all of the time? No, I mean it. They sampled it a lot. I put the packet on the glass. What glass? Come on, Jeffrey, you can do it. Pave the way, put your back into it. Bo wrote all the songs, all the lyrics. He shot it, he directed it, he edited it. Everything through the course of the 2020 and 2021 lockdown inside of his guest house. Like, this is the kind of content that really makes me feel like I'm barely even trying, like I need to take my creativity to the whole nother level to just even scratch the surface of what Bo was able to deliver in that special. I'm not here to convince you to learn puppeteering. I'm not here to convince you to lock yourself in a room with different lights and a projector. I'm here to help you overcome the biggest hurdle on your way to become a really successful creator. That biggest hurdle is fear. Listen, I get it. Being different is risky. There is a certain level of comfort of walking down the paved road that someone else has already took care of. Someone else has already showed it then. Someone else has already experimented with this kind of content. You saw a million people enjoyed it. You know it works. So there's certain attraction to go and follow the same kind of content and just take advantage of that small fraction of views that you will get. But this is the core of the issue. You only get a fraction of the attention, fraction of the views, fraction of the recognition for that idea and in the worst case, you're actually also jeopardizing your brand for being one of those copycats. To top it all off, you don't even learn anything through this process. All you do is just take advantage of someone else's hard work. And creating unique content is hard work that you have to do to overcome that fear of the blank canvas. And the solution to that fear is surprisingly simple. You just have to create more. A bit counterintuitive, but let me explain. The way I got over the fear of starting a new every single time is because I had to create a new piece of content every single week for the past five plus years. At this point, you can wake me up from like the drunk stupor and I'll probably still whip out the half decent script. You cannot skip practice in any occupation, including being a creative. The key difference here is that when you copy someone else's idea and someone else's content, you learn nothing. When you try and push yourself even just tiny little bit when you create a new piece of content, you actually get yourself to the next level, even by the smallest of steps. I fully subscribe to the idea that there's no original content. Everyone is inspired by something and it doesn't have to be in the same type of content, but we all are the result of our own experiences. We're all the result of that mosaic combined out of different pieces of content, different people and different events in our lives. So when you take advantage of that unique mosaic that represents you and you apply it to someone else's piece of content, but then you evolve it to something different, this is when you start cooking and you start creating something uniquely yours. Here's my advice to you. When you create the next piece of content, even if it starts as someone else's idea, take a unique spin on it push it in a different direction that you've never pushed it before and see how it worked. Then try it again and again and again until you find something that you feel like really resembles of your unique vision. And then take that and change that over and over again and keep distilling it down until you find that unique nugget inside that truly makes it a very unique format, content type, idea that represents you and that the others can refer to. Colin and Samir have this great concept that one of the best creators out there can be explained with a single headline in the article. Randy, he's a stand-up comedian who uses a puppet to deliver his jokes. For Bo, he's a comedian who locked himself in the room for a year and created a special all by himself with the help of microphone, lights, piano, and a projector. What would be your headline? What would be the headline about you? Would it be just, he was among thousands of those who tried the same type of content? Or will it be something like, 
I practice what I preach and I tried a few different things in this video compared to what I've done in the past 300 plus videos I've created. Hope you enjoyed it. Speaking of the creators who do things differently, check out this video that I made about Dan Mace. He's a new creative visionary behind Mr. Beast and he's the kind of guy who puts a capital C in the word creator. Please enjoy, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next Saturday. Peace.